going to begin auscultating different positions on the heart. So I'm first going to start with the aortic, which is the second right intercostal space. Okay, S1 and S2 was heard. Next, I'm going to move to the pulmonic, which is the second left intercostal space. Okay, next I'm going to be moving to herbs point, which is the second pulmonic area, third left intercostal space. Okay, next I'm going to be moving to the tricuspid, which is the fourth left intercostal space. And lastly, my final position will be on the mitral, which is the fifth left intercostal space midclavicular line. And because her heart rhythm is regular, I'm going to count for 30 seconds to assess her heart rate. Okay, so I got 40, so I'm going to multiply by 2, which makes 80, and that falls within the normal range of 60 to 100 for a regular heartbeat. I heard S1 and S2, love dub throughout, no extra heart sounds such as S3 or S1. Okay, so moving on to the next system, which is your cardiovascular. Um, I'm just going to ask you again two questions. With the cardiovascular, do you have any history of hypertension? Nope. Okay, um, do you have any um, history of syncope? No. Nope. No, okay. And no chest pain? No. Nope. No, okay. That's good. Okay, looking at the precordium, just inspecting the precordium, there's no any heaves, uh, stri or masses, a scarf, anything like that in the, um, the everything is normal, looks normal. I am uh, checking for the costochondritis, just um, pressing the wall. Any pain? No. Okay, so that's negative for the costochondritis. Uh, no any pain in the precordium. Um, pop it in for the thrills, okay, with the ball mm -hmm. of my hand. Okay, so no any thrills felt when I was palpating, so that's normal. You should not be feeling any thrills in the precordium. Next thing I'm going to pop it is a PMI, which is a point of maximal impulse. Uh, it should be on the left, fifth intercostal space on the left, um, left sternal border, left side, fifth intercostal space, and the mid clavicular line. Okay, the O should be. So with the females, you just have to make sure that you go lift up, lift it up, and. Uh, breast tissues and just pull it up. Okay, I'm able to feel it right here, which is good. Uh, no any uh, deviation of the uh, lateral movement of the uh, point of maximal impulse, so that's good. If it's on the side, if it's like on the side of the other than that location, then that, that would tell us that you have the left ventricular hypertrophy. Okay, uh, next thing is I'm gonna. Um, Auscultate your uh, heart sounds for any murmurs or any anything like that. First, I'm just auscultating your heart sounds, just, just hear your normal heart sounds. So uh, the five points I'm gonna auscultate is your aortic, pulmonic, herbs, um, tricuspid, and mitral, okay? So aortic is in the second intercostal space on the right side. Um, pulmonic is the left intercostal space on the second intercostal space on the left side. Herbs is the left intercostal space in the third external space, left side. and um, 
tricuspid on the left side, fourth intercostasis, and the um, mitral is uh, the fifth intercostasis midclavicular line. So I'm going to hear those pulling. Uh, Points for the heart sound for us using the diaphragm. So I'm switching it into the um, bell of the sleep scope and listen for any murmurs. Okay, so um, with the uh, with the bell, I was able to hear the. Uh, with the diaphragm, sorry, I was able to hear the heart sounds. S1, S2 is greater than S1 in the aortic and the pulmonic. S1 is equal to S2 in the herbs point. Um, S1 is greater than S2 in the uh, tricuspid and the mitral valve. So everything is normal. And I did not hear any murmurs or any extra sounds in the um, five points when I was hearing from the uh, bell. So I'm gonna listen for the um, regurgitations, uh, aortic and the mitral. So for that, I want you to lean forward. I'm using the um, bell of the oscilloscope for the mitral uh, stenosis. So uh, lean forward, take a deep breath and hold for me. Okay, so, so for our tick, I'm using the diaphragm. Okay, take a deep, uh, so leaning forward, take a deep breath and let it out and hold for me. Gonna quickly listen to the left sternal border, okay, and the apex of the heart. Okay, thank you. So I did not hear any regurgitation or anything like that in the both sides uh, on the both points and in the left sternal border, so that's negative. So next we're going to go into heart sounds. So the first heart sound is gonna be um, aortic. So aortic is in the second intercostal space. It's at the base of the heart. It's S2 and um, it is the right sternal border. So we're gonna listen to that real fast. Okay, next is pulmonic. It is also in the second intercostal space. Um, it is left sternal border, and it is also at the base of the heart, which is S2. Okay, third is herbs point. That's where you can hear um, murmurs. It is in the third intercostal space and it is also on the left sternal border. Okay, fourth is tricuspid. Tricuspid is the in the fourth intercostal space. It is a at the apex, which is S1, um, fourth intercostal space, and left sternal border. And the last one is mitral. It is in the fifth intercostal space. It is midclavicular, but it is still on the left side. And it is also at the apex of the heart and S1. Okay, so um, listening to the heart, it was a regular strong rhythm. There was no murmurs, no extra heart sounds, no 
anything that we needed to be worried about or anything like that. Take my um, stethoscope and listen to your heart, okay? So I'm going to begin by listening to the aortic valve. Just breathe normally. Okay, next I'm going to move to the pulmonic valve. Good. Okay, and then I'm going to move to the herb spline. Good. And then I'm going to move to the tricuspid. And then the and then the apex of the mitral valve. So I'm actually going to listen here for a full 60 seconds and count your respiratory or your pulse, apical pulse. Okay, and for your apical pulse, I got 68, which is nice and normal for you, normal between 60 and 100. Now I'm going to go back through and go backwards and listen to all the valves using the bell of my stethoscope, okay? okay. Here we go, listening to the mitral valve and the tricuspid, herbs point. Pulmonic and aortic. All right. And next, I'm actually going to palpate that same um, apical pulse, okay? I'm just feeling for your PMI, so your maximal, your point of maximal, um, your PMI. And I don't feel any thrills or vibrations, and I don't feel any heaves or lifts. All right. 